Hi, I'm Sean. Peter. You must be a mathematician up at the U. That's right, and I heard you play football. That's right. Well, they say punting's easy, but it's not as simple as it looks. That's what they all say, but you don't have to do it. And there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. You need a good mind, you need a good foot, but there's also a lot of math and physics behind it. And you need a ball. You do. Actually, talking about a ball. In an NFL ball, there's actually 13 PSI, which is pounds per square inch. And that's actually more air in the ball than what a quarterback actually uses. 13 PSI, huh? Well, I guess you wouldn't want to kick a flat football. And that makes sense. The more air that you can get in this ball, the greater its elasticity. And the more force that you can transfer from your foot to this ball. Okay, so there's a lot of science behind the game of punting for maximum hang time and distance. Of course the ball is only part of the equation. And when I catch the ball, I take two steps and I drop it as flat as I can. The more surface Sean has to work with, the greater the velocity of the ball when it comes off his foot. And of course when I drop the flat ball, it enables me to spiral the ball a lot easier. That nice tight spiral you see on a long punt, that works to stabilize the flight of the football and in some cases, increases its hang time. Right. Of course there's more science involved. Atmospheric conditions, barometric pressure and wind speed. The barometric pressure is directly proportional to air density and this is, has a huge effect on a football. If high pressure is present, then the air will have a higher density. And this higher density means that the ball will have more air to punch through and will thus travel a shorter distance. The differences between high and low pressure are also the cause of winds. A strong wind could blow the ball as much as 10 yards off target if not compensated for correctly. So when the ball is finally kicked, it becomes a projectile and follows the rules of projectile motion. So Mr. Ma mathematician, this will make you happy. So the angle that the ball leaves my foot actually matters a lot. The angle uh, for the longest kick is supposed to be about 45 degrees, but for different situations in the game, uh, we can vary that angle a lot. Yeah, when Sean wants to pin the opponent close to the goal line, he might drop it in with a higher angle. In other situations, he want, might, might want to kick it flatter. Sean, do you ever kick it like this just for fun? You try kick it like that and see what happens. <laughs> The ball flies in a parabolic shape, and its motion can be described using vectors, or lines that describe the velocity and the direction of an object in motion, or in this case, the football. A punted football has a vertical velocity vector as well as a horizontal one. When the football is at its highest, the vertical velocity vector is zero, and this is where punters want the spin of the ball to help hold it in the air as long as possible. The longer the ball is able to stay at this point, the higher the hang time and the farther the ball will fly. So with all this being said, the whole point of this is for our opponents to get lousy field position. So we win more games. See? I told you science is cool. You told me that? <laughs> <laughs>